Hi friends! Today we're going to be playing the game Assemble with Care and for those of you that loved unpacking, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. So in this cute puzzle game, we will be fixing some unique objects and discovering the stories of the people who own them. So without further ado, let's jump right in! Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so we have a mix tape. Maria's mix. And it sounds like... Oh! Okay. We're in like a subway. We're in like a subway station or something. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. She's so cute! Look at her! She's like... That's cute. She's cute. As my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. Bellariva? Sounds like Genovia. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. Mm. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Okay. We love, we love a blue collar woman. We love that. Good for you. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. All right, Maria, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. How do I, okay, here you go. Let's see. Is this you? My parents took this after I made my first repair. Seems like a lifetime ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, like I get... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like, that's a cute picture. Don't get me wrong. And it's cute that her parents took them. But if I was traveling, would I want a picture of myself in my suitcase? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'd rather have a picture of my parents. So that's... Is that a little weird, Maria? Yeah, just a little bit. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. The, tool the tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. What are these Maria's restorations? Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. That's cute. She's cute. These are cute. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. So it seems like everything is gonna have some sort of significance. Oh. I like that. I'm also gonna say, I'm also gonna say, I like how everything that I've taken out gets automatically placed in a very grid like pattern, very organized. I like that. I like that. I don't have to think about it too much. Imagine it's just like strewn everywhere. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Okay. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. She's just such a cute... Oh, look at the earrings! And these are the overalls! Okay, cool, cool, cool. And the scrunchie. I'm trying to see, do you have the picture in your back pocket? Like, My parents know. never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. Okay, good for you, girl. Like, good for you, but also... 1979! It makes sense. I think with, like, the scrunchie... 
Did they have disposable cameras back then? I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that. So according to the internet, the disposable camera became popular in 1986, so it checks out. So she didn't want to stay at home with her parents. She was like, I'm gonna travel the world, good for you. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Okay, new character. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that was chapter one. Okay, chapter one was Arrival. Chapter two, Lullaby. Oh, this is cute. Can we interact with this? Oh, but I like, I like that. Look at that. It puts it away. It puts it away. All right, chapter two, Lullaby. It was my first morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. Okay. How, like, I'm sure she, I'm sure she makes, I'm, I'm sure she's the best repair woman in the world. But how is she making enough to stay in hotels? Is she staying in hotels like this whole time? She did say she was taking a break, so maybe this is like, in the Chilling. main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. Okay. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? How'd you know, Izzy? How'd you know? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. Hmm. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. Okay. You didn't even let me, like, answer the question, Izzy. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? <laughs> Uh, th there's a, a thing called please, Izzy. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, Izzy. I, I, Izzy's kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should I? I guess I have to. Okay, looks like we're gonna fix our first item. Let's see. Okay. Can we turn it? <gasps> oh! Oh, a little scroll. Let me unscrew this. Oh, let's take this off. Okay. Aha! Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Okay, so we gotta take these out then. Put these back in. These are definitely Duracell. Just saying. Okay, let's put that back. Where'd that screw go up here? Okay, let's screw that. How do we turn it? Okay, yeah. Duh. Okay, let's turn this back. Cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's the one thing. Turning this stuff is hard. I have to do like a whole shebang. Like if I want to turn it all the way around, that's what... Okay, well, you're going back. And then this. Why did you do that? Just watch, Izzy. Just watch. Watch and learn. So if you guys didn't know, back in the day we had cassette tapes. And if you wanted to rewind the tape... You had to use a little pencil, get in that groove, and do what I just did. Okay, Izzy? Watch this, Izzy. I don't know. Izzy's rubbing me the wrong way. Maybe I should give her the benefit of the doubt. I should. I should, shouldn't I? Okay, let's see. Does it work now? Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so tight. Know that I will always love you Even though we both know that oh. we must say goodnight Maybe it's her Good night, my darling Uh, yeah, it's her mom It's her mom I was like, why does she have such a Like, no offense, kind of like amateur <laughs> Recording of someone But it's her mom, now I feel bad Now I feel bad I'm sorry, Izzy 
When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Now I feel worse. Now I feel worse. Now I feel ten times worse. No, uh, Izzy. Ugh. Listen, everything I said before, I take back. Okay? I, I didn't know. Oh, look at her. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Don't take that. No. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. What if, what if she was like, Izzy, sorry, I only take check. she didn't have the check if she didn't have a check available she just like took the cassette tape and like threw it on the ground jeez that would be so bad she seemed like a happy kid but beneath it all part of her life had been shattered Where part is i wouldn't be able to fix oh no i was so mean to her okay so that was two lullabies so izzy doesn't have poor izzy Okay, chapter three, Shattered. My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. Oh, already, girl? You're popping. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. I will say I really enjoy the sound design in this game so far. Like, you could hear her stepping on the stone beach. That's cool. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Joseph. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. No. Please come in. I'd like to settle up properly. She the didn't bother me. It's just kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Okay. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Okay, daddy issues. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Listen, be nice to Isabel. Okay, I can do it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Joseph. I got you. I got you. What do we got? Okay, we got the fragments. What is this? Coin purse? That looks like a croc. This man is wearing crocs. They had crocs 500 years ago? Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Why are you hovering over me? Oh! Oh, okay, so we're gluing this. We're gluing this. Okay, we're gonna get every square inch, all right? Every little bit. Every little bit is gonna be glue. Oh, we got it on the crack. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna get you right there. We're gonna get you right there. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put you... Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, what other... There has to be... There's another leg. Where's the other leg? We literally don't have the other leg. Hello? Is this the leg? Oh, this is the leg. He's like... Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. You take that back! 
She literally doesn't have a mom. I don't... Mm, now I don't like Joseph. Okay, that took too much time. Okay, I wonder if we can just do it like this. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. We're just... Hey, no, you go back. You go back there. Go back there. I'm not done with you. Where does this go? No. I'm not even thinking about... Okay, there we go. Perfect. A little bit of that. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Why are you doubting me? I'm the best in the city, okay? Bella Riva's finest. Get back over there. Get back over there. Perfect. There you go. Wetwood porcelain. Statue. Complete. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. Okay, so he has major daddy issues. But, like, look at him. He's like... He, he looks kind of cute. He's like... <laughs> All right, Joseph cheesing. Joseph cheesing. As Joseph put the statue back on the <gasps> oh. shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's <gasps> mayor. And oh. that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. You're mayor of Bella Riva? Okay, but look at how beautiful her mom is. Oh my god. Was. Jesus. Ah. Oh. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? Oh man, so you're a workaholic. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Mm. 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 We're drawing a lot of comparisons, aren't we, today? Okay. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Mm-hmm. Damn right, Maria. Damn right. You gotta pay attention to Izzy, all right? You, she only has one parent now. And you're fucking blaming her for shit. Saying she should come with a warning label. How about you should come with a warning label? On his forehead. Mr. Mayor Daddy Issues. Disconnected. A little rotary phone. This is cute. Look at that yellow. I like that yellow. My second day in Bella Riva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Oh, that sounds so nice. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. I... Uh, already my favorite. I already love you. Look at you. Oh my god! Carmen! Hi! Her place was... petite. Tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Oh no, so she doesn't have any customers. It's a bit slow today but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter <laughs> and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. Okay. It's a special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but right. it won't connect. Right, seasoning tips, okay. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Yeah, let's let's go for it. I'm the best. I'm the best in town, Carmen. I got you. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, we gotta turn it over. All right, let's unscrew these screws. Boom. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Right, Carmen. Right, 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 right. No worries. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I know. I know. You're the best in town, just like I am. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Okay, but why is everybody doubting me, is my question. Let's take this apart. Oh, that looks like... 
click the okay so we gotta click the wire and drag to the toolbox to detach it. click the wire and drag to the to the toolbox mm. yeah that's right i yanked it that looks broken so we're gonna replace it how is this attached again okay this to that right i'm assuming we need that to that perfect looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up all right Looks like this one's cracked. So let's take this off. Put that there. Replace it. Perfect. Screw it back. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's screw this back in. Hello? Let's try one more time. Cool. Perfect. Okay, now let's put that back. Oh, the, the back needs to... The back has all those... Can you come here? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's do that. Screw that. Perfect. Let's do that. Two more. There you go. Looks like there's still a screw missing. Where? That's right. Where, Maria? Maria's trying to gaslight me. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. Hmm. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? No, nope, it cool it's down. ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. Why don't you, why don't you want to take it? That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Girl, are you going to be able to pay me, then? I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Hmm. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. Oh, shit. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh, God, I have to get ready. Oh, jeez, so she was asking for money. Actually... I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? I mean, depends. Did you pay me for the phone? Carmen, I just... I like, look, I like you, but... I only take checks, and it seems like... Like, no offense, it seems like you don't have it. Number five. Ooh! Okay, so from what I'm getting so far, the thing in the bookmarks is the thing that we're gonna fix. So the next thing is going to be a camera. Okay, five. In focus with the little monstera leaves in the back. I like that. I like it. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Girl, you are popular. This is great. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Uh, are you here about the camera? It's about time. I'm into it. I, 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 I'm into it. I mean, look at her. Like. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Yeah. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to <sighs> fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... Like... I shouldn't be into that? Like, it, is it wrong? I don't know, either way. <sighs> so this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Oh my god. Inside her room, oh I my saw god. a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. A 
can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Not me. Not you. Oh, no. Not me. Not Hermione. You. Okay, Helena. Okay, I'll do anything you want, girl, honestly. Okay, let's unscrew this. Alrighty. Let's just take all the screws out. There we go. Put that there. Oh, oh, we're missing one. Okay, we're missing one more screw. Let's put that there. Take that. I don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. Excuse me? She's really talking down to me. That's okay. As you can say whatever you want to me. Okay, let's put that there. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Okay, so where is that mirror supposed to go? Is it supposed to go up? Let's do that. Okay. Oh, oh, I think that's where we what we need. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What, oh, this is so finicky. Boom! Perfect. Now Perfect. the viewfinder should be working. Perfect. Let's put that back then. Oh, wait, I think we're missing something because this needs to go there. Perfect. Okay, let's put a little screw right there. Screw that back. Put that screw here. Put that screw there. We're missing one more. There you go, Helena. Here you go, girl. Tell me you like it. Please. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. Okay, I don't know why but you're telling me this, but... It was worth but... it. Okay. Okay, but, like, go off. You look phenomenal. I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. Same. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Oh. Huh. That's sus. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. Mm -hmm, I know. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Did she just give me a compliment? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. I was so focused on myself. I'm sorry, Carmen. I let you down. I forgot. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. Mm. We got. I'm, I'm sensing some uh, hostility, some bad vibes. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Oh, shoot. All right, but can we talk about how hot Helena is? Helena and Carmen, honestly, both of them. Okay, okie dokie. In the dark. So we're going to be fixing a neon sign. Oh, it says Carmen's. Oh, okay. Back to Carmen, back to Carmen. The sun was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside... I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Oh, so Helena hasn't Maria. come yet. Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Mm. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. Yeah. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. 
I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Mm. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but ugh, I'm hopeless with electronics. Oh, maybe hopefully this sign could help her. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can Helena. you give it a try? Of course I can give it a try. Okay, let's see. Okay. What else we gotta do? Okay, screws. You know what that means. Gotta unscrew some stuff. Alright, another one. Take that off. Okay, is this broken? Or do you need another wire? Oh, 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 wait, wait a second. Wait a second. This this little 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 pattern was on the statue last time, so we just gotta glue it. I'm I'm haphazardly gluing it. It's fine. Uh, why would you put it face down? There's literally glue on it. I didn't like that. Oh. I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. Really, Carmen? What about now? Let's try that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. It's a bit... Uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. What is that? Uh, maybe it's like another motherboard. Yeah, here's some glue for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's flip this over. Put this there. Oh, we're gonna need to mess with the wires then. Okay. Let's move this one. Do that. And then do that. And then do that. Boom. Bada bing, bada boop. Be bow. That's right. That's right. That's me. That's me. That's in Bell Riva. That's me. Hmm. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Okay. The, uh, well, the one on the, the the one in the little picture had a uh, an ice cream cone, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna do that. Let's put more glue on this guy. And where are we gonna put you, though? Why do you keep putting it face down? Why do you keep putting it face down? Is my question. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's flip this. I mean, I'm glad it's so... Oh, God. This looks like... Oh, God. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to go... Like that. And then... And then... The light needs to go like that. But how do you connect it? Is it all connected? No, because this needs to blink. It needs to blink. So how do I put this here? Maybe... There we go! Perfect! And let's screw this. That's great. Okay, let's do that. Let's put this here. Hello? Okay, let's put this here. Perfect. All right. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Oh, I didn't even have the I didn't even have the ice cream cone. I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I know, I know. That's right. It works. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. Everything's been screwed together. See, Maria stays gaslighting me. Hell, I don't like how the, I don't know. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. Hmm, I wonder, like, how long she's had this cafe going. A smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. 
I turned to see. Elena! Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. That's the first thing you say when you haven't seen your sister? I'll allow it. Just, just because of this outfit. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Oh my god, uh... I literally spent all... We just fixed it! We just fixed it! And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. But I like, no... We're keeping the sign, Carmen. We're keeping the sign, Carmen. I don't care what she says. Okay, what did it fix? Oh, Game Boy! Oh my god! Okay, playing up. I like this. I like it. Okay, let's see. It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. Good. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. Okay, we're back with Joseph and Izzy. Okay, okay. I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. That's their favorite pose. The, the, it's the crossed arms. Maria's gonna do it again, watch. And the little, it's the crossed arms, favorite pose. It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. Why do you look sad again? She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Ooh. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. Okay, go off. She has a she has a little playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but <laughs> the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. Crazy life. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. I don't know, Izzy. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Can you fix it for me? Yeah, I can fix it, but we're gonna see if, if, you, uh, if it was an accident. Mm, I don't know. The screen I would get if you like accidentally dropped it, but the button? I feel like the button is the hardest thing to, to, to break. No, I don't want to close it. Okay, um, let's see. Where do we start? Where do we start? Are there screws? Oh, there's that. Cool. Oh, cool. That just comes off like that. Okay, so this board is like that. Let's take that. Replace that. What's that? What is this? Oh, that's a screen. Okay, we're good. We're good. So let's put that back here. And then we can replace you. Perfect. Perfect. Per Hello? Come here. Let's rotate you. Perfect. Okay. Um, so the whole screen is broken, right? So this is the screen. Let's... Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. How did we... Now I don't forget. We're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Okay, they're all green. I, I I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Cool. How do we get the button, though? How do we get that button? How do we get that? No, we're not gonna turn you on just yet, because I have to get that button. Don't tell me I have to do this all over again. Okay. Can I take this out? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now we gotta take this. Boom. Pop. Pow. I don't remember. I should have learned from the first time. 
Nope. We're just gonna hope for the best. Take Do grown-ups play games as well? No, they don't. Uh, it works? I think we did it right. Can you show me how to play? I yeah. tried before, but it was so hard. Girl, how is this hard? Oh, do you have to get it in the, the frame? Izzy, what do you mean hard? Like, Izzy, you gotta get good. You gotta get good. Her toy fixed, I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Mm, it doesn't seem that they have the best relationship. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. So Izzy has anger issues. I'm sorry, from that game? Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I don't feel bad for you. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me mm. unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Mm. Okay. Do I still not feel bad for her? Now it kind of ma it makes sense. It makes sense. Joseph, spend time with your with daughter. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. Why are you sympathetic? Yeah, oh, of course he's sympathetic. Like, what? Of course he's struggling too, but that doesn't mean any... <sighs> Come on. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? Mmm, okay. Starting to make sense here. Starting to make sense here. So you're, you're relating it back to your own experience. But what happened with your parents? You guys had a bad relationship because they wanted you to stay home and you were like, uh, no? Mm. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. No, girl, do your thing. Do your thing. Eight momentary. Oh, we're gonna fix a watch. Okay, okay. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed. Why do you look like that? My favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? Hmm. I was, uh, repairing a lawn mower. Right. How unusual. Right. Well, do come in. <laughs> the job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Okay. Let's see. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So oh, this there it is. was his office. You see it. You see it. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. Oh, every cafe and... Oh, okay, so they're basically like Carmen and all the other cafes are gonna... It's like a food competition. That's the festival. It's like a food competition. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. Hmm... Best chef. I have a feeling... I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I got you. I got you, Joseph. I got you. All right, let's see what's going on with it. Let's take the watch head are off. Are you sure it will all fit back together? Why are you already doubting me? 
These people, man. Oh my god. Are you telling me you got it from your wife? Oh my god. Oh, I can't with this shit. I can't with this shit. I can't. I can't do it. Alright, let's take this off. Let's see. Okay. Everything in here is broken. Right. Uh, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. Okay. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. I feel like... Okay, let's see. What can we take? Ah, I feel like... I feel like we can go there. Let's put this here. Because I feel like we can... Maybe we, we do that, and then we put that here. Let's take these cogs off. See what we can work with. There's nothing here. Okay, cool. We can put that back. Put you back. Let's bring you back here. Okay. Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, there's one in the back. Okay, and then this has yeah. Yeah! Good stuff! Good stuff! Okay, cool! Can that go back there? No, it cannot. Alright, let's bring the sad plate back over again. Just kidding, let's put it back. Okay, so the glass needs to come out. So, can we do that? Oh, we got more screws. We got more screws. Let's unscrew that. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let's put you here. Broken guy here. This here. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Mm. I I was afraid you were gonna say that. I was afraid. Okay, let's put that there. There you go. And there you go. And then like that. Cool. Is it working? Yeah. Look at that. We did it. Okay. Let's uh. Let's put you here. Let's screw that, those bad boys back in there. Okay. And then do that. Perfect. Get the watch there. You're all set. Good stuff. Sean Felder's automatic 36 watch. I'm like, what? Uh... As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. Mm. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. I wonder what she Feeling did. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe spend more time with her? I, I don't know. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. Yeah, no problem. Spend time with your daughter. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office. His watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't like him. I'm more on his side. Buddy. It says buddy. The bigger picture. What is that? What is that? Oh, is that a projector? Okay. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Yeah. 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 Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Okay, stop being mean to her, though. Love Carmen. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, That's but aesthetic. totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. I like that. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out. 
Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. Okay, what is Carmen doing? There's a market doing? at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Oh, okay. But ch check with Carmen, though. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. You know she cares about her, though. Like, you you know she, she definitely cares about her sister. She's just, like, pissed because... I guess Carmen just keeps eating money away, but I'm, I, I guess it depends on how long Carmen's been in this position, you know? Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can mm. you take a look? Now I'm starting to get it. Now I'm starting to get it. I'm not gonna lie. Does it still, does it like warrant Elena being so mean? No, but like I understand where she's coming from. All right, so what do we gotta do? First, let's start with unscrewing everything. Just like, just like we've been doing. Okay. Any more? Oh, this can come off now. Perfect. Fragile. Let's take this off. Light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light, the lens at the top for the projector to work. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm assuming. Let's do that. And yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then we'll need to put this up. I'm assuming we're gonna go up. I'm assuming we're gonna go up. And then we'll do that. Oh, there, there are more screws over here. Okay, okay. Hello? Stop, get back! Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Cool. Let's take that off. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Hey, be nice. I want to see this slide. Can I see that slide? Let's see. Oh, it looks like them. And it looks like they're smiling. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a way to take it off. Um, okay, okay, okay. What if we... Let's do that, and then let's turn it, and I'm assuming we gotta turn it... Yeah! Yeah! <gasps> wait, wait, stop it! Okay. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Yeah, because you guys just have different styles, and that's okay. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Be, no be nice. Okay, let's put that here. Let's put it here. <gasps> okay. Oh, we got more slides to go through now. Maybe if we do that, and then we put you guys in or in or in in order. It okay. In order. Maybe it'll. Okay. Maybe the clicker will help us like slide through the stuff. Hello? Okay. When we were younger, Carmen oh was God. always following me around. Oh, that's cute. Okay, what about the next one? I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's baking. Oh, she's always loved that. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Yeah, seems like everybody's too busy. I'm over it. I'm over these excuses. Are we missing any? We got two Looks more like screws. Something is still missing. Really? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love Maria, but at the same time, just let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing, Maria. Okay. Let's screw that. And then last screw. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had Look brought glaringly into focus. Oh my god. I. Oh, 
I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. She has a good point. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Girl. Common thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. Ooh. We all struggling here. We're all no. struggling. The funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Wait, but like, what is she going to ask you for help for? I mean, like, what are you going to ask her for help for? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. Damn! Keep in mind that, like, I just met these guys. This happens more often than you think in, in customer service. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? You're worried about that when you're constantly berating her? I, I, like, I don't know. I'm just saying. It makes sense, but... I... The bigger picture. Okay, chapter 10. Boiling point. Propane and propane accessories. All right. Let's see what this is. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. Mm, I'm hungry. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. Okay. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Girl, of course. If you pay me. I'm saying. Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. Oh, so she told you. I can't you. believe she lied to me. Come on, but she was like trying to help you out. Was she mean? Yes. Did she try to help? Yeah. Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. I wonder what it is. What What is your special? She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Yikes. Not on my day off. Yikes. I get that. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? I got you. All right, what are we doing? So we got to start off with the heat source. Okay, let's do that. Nope, nope, no. He hello? Go back here. Okay. Okay. Red thing. Cool. Okay. Like that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. These go there. Like that. Can, can you? Can, okay. It's, I'm not trying to turn you again. There you go. It all fits. Now to light the gas. Okay. How do we do that? Okay. We got gas going. Oh, we gotta get the. We gotta. We we gotta get the matches. We gotta get the matches. We gotta get the matches. Hurry! 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 Okay, let me put that away. Hur hurry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, cool. Eh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's take this out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm stressed. Oh! It just worked like that! Nice! I just took it off. I just... I, I took it off. Okay. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that again. <laughs> Perfect. You go there. Ah, uh, you probably shouldn't be laying it like that, but that's fine. Okay, let's do that. Boom. Okay, let's cook some stuff. Some broth. Mmm, yummy. A 
think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great, if I say so myself. You didn't do anything. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Hmm. Okay, so we got one pint of stock. We did that. A quarter stick of... I'm gonna assume butter. That looks like a, a quarter stick. Half a carrot. Half a carrot. We're getting that. We're getting the leaves and everything. Uh, two block bl broccoli florets. One. Two. That looks absolutely vile. Um, a handful of chopped tomatoes. Boom. Pop. That looks good. Okay, I'll I guess a that's... spoonful when I'm ready to serve. That's where we stop with the tomatoes. Three wild mushrooms. One, two, three. And plenty of love. I'm going to say love. We're... No onions. They, they, they put the onions to trick us. All right, we're not going to be tricked. Let's try it. Let's try it. Four season soup. Is it good? Is it good? My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived fine. with Izzy in tow. Okay, Carmen Joseph. anxiously handed them both a serving. It seems kind of unfair that only one person is judging this whole competition. That's like... He's giving him a lot of power. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Can I have some more? Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. Damn right. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good I luck. I don't know if you can say that, but I'll take it. I'll take it, Joseph. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. <laughs> Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I What's wish wrong? Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. She wants what's best for you. She's Shut just up, not Maria. very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know. I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then I've asked so much of her over the years. Mm. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Mm. Mm. I'm glad we're doing a little bit of reflection here. That's good. That's good. <gasps> oh, I've got a record player that I had in the times and threes. And okay, um, 11 Harmony. Let's go. Let's go. The festival finished. Oh, she looks so pretty. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train oh, and leave wow. Bellariva behind. When was that, like a week? I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So, that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bellariva. Oh my Half god! Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Oh my god! Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef, come on through. It was Carmen, acting every inch the successful cafe oh. owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. I'm so proud of her. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. Where was she? She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have oh a lot of catching up God, to Oh my God, she sold the camera! I wanted to give her this, to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Oh. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Yeah, of course! Let's open her up. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. Okay, let's see. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Oh, it's my favorite tune. It's my favorite the tune. The speaker isn't connected Okay, properly. okay, 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 I, I get check it. check the wiring. 
Here's okay. the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. Uh, okay, so this needs to go here. Off the bat. And by my expertise... Um... Well, I don't know what these two wires are for. So, we're just gonna ignore them. Let's see if that works now. God, God, hello? Okay. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. I th literally just fa that was so abrupt. That was so abrupt, but it's fine. Okay, um, I guess... Oh, oh, okay, there's like a module right there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do this. So there's power there. Okay, so we need... Let's try that. Let's try it, and then this can go... No, that doesn't look right. Because that should go there, right? This needs to light up. So, no, no, okay. I did that one right. But I know I did that one right. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That's the speed dial connected. Cool, now, we got we it. we should be able to change it. Nope, we definitely need the disc. I think... Disc. Hmm. It's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must oh. be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. Okay. All right, let's try that. Let's try... Let's take that band off. Take this. If take. I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Okay, model 70. S five, seven. U.S. 570 watt. So, you... U.S. 55786. Okay, these don't look like exact replicas. We got 715. Just 57. Okay. But that, that matches. That matches. That matches. Okay, let's put that there. And then we're missing a wire. A wire needs to be connected properly. This needs to go there. Perfect. Let's see. Let's try it out. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. Ooh, okay. It's a vibe. It's a... How do we make sure that it's the correct speed, though? How do we make sure it's the correct speed? It's turning in the right direction, but it's the wrong are we missing something? What are we missing? Maybe we gotta try this one? It was the green one we didn't try yet, right? So let's do that. Let's uh, unattach this. Let's put that here. Let's put this here. Put that there. Put this here. Look at that. We're engineers, guys. Engineers. Let's try it. This motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Okay, but then... Uh, hello? Stop. 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 I think we can adjust the speed through here. Yeah, that's the that's 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 the speed we want. Okay, okay. We literally didn't have to do anything. It was this one, right? We didn't we didn't have to do a single thing. We had it right. We just had to do one little dial. All right, let's try it out. What will remain of these days? Oh. Oh. Get it. Get it! The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Yay! Oh my Leaning god! Leaning over the Look music, at them. they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable, once again. Oh my god! Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. <gasps> oh my god! I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Good! Good! Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but 
they were both prepared to try. And that's all and that matters. Think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. Tying it back! I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. In a year? Like, from my understanding, at least from this story, it doesn't seem like they had some huge falling out. But to not speak to them for a year? Like, was there something more that happened than you just being like, Sorry guys, I want to do my own thing and travel the world while I repair some stuff. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Girl, you got it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay, that was 11. <gasps> Looks like we only have a couple more. 12, what is that? A father's reprise. Okay, Joseph. Uh, let's see. Can you make up for it? Can you make up for it? My final morning in Bellariva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. Okay. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Oh, yay! Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. Oh, she was learning! You've made quite the impression. Isabel, Izzy, Damn right. tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. <gasps> oh. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. She's back with his little cute pose. Look at him. He's, just, he's a cutie. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. Mm. I'd love for Izzy to hear <gasps> it sing again. Can you help? Is that the picture of them with the mom? Oh, okay, okay, we got this. Let's see. Open that up. Okay, well, let's unscrew that. I, lo I don't know why, but I love the unscrewing action. You have the replacement. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Thank you. Took the words out of my mouth. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, we'll put that. Oh, we got to glue it. There you go. I don't like that sound. It's a little too squishy for me, if you ask me. There we go. Let's unscrew. I mean, let's screw that. Perfect. Okay, what else do we gotta do? Are there more screws? Oh, I saw some screws there. Perfect. Oh, a little birdie. A little birdie once told me. Okay, uh, okay. Hello? Okay, hell, okay. Perfect. Okay. Just one more. All right. Awesome, we can take this off. Um, is there anything else under here? Oh, oh, okay. That was, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there was a lot more to this than I thought. This mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. Okay, so we got some cogs, and then we got this little turny thingy. Oh, okay, that is broken, so let's replace that with this. Perfect. This you need to take off, and we'll replace that with that. Put that here, put that there, and let's try real quick, see if it turns properly. Perfect! Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. That's what I said. That's what I said. Okay. Let's do that then. Uh, no. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. Okay. Let's do that. And that. Hello? Okay. Here. 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 
There you go. Put you in here. How did it go? Okay, can we stick that? And then we stick that. And boom. Okay, and then we gotta screw these back in. Oh, gosh. Try that again. Perfect. Try that again. Okay. There you go. One last one. And then... We should be able to There's test it out. There's still a card I need to attach. Where does it go? Oh, oh, that guy. That guy. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. The one time I she didn't try to gaslight me. back together again. I should play it to make sure. Let's see. Let's see. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always work too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me if I sit by your side and hold you so tight? Know that I will no. always no. love you, even though we no. both no. know that no. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. God. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Yeah, damn right. Especially now it's just the two of us. Damn right. My daughter comes first. Well, until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. Hey. I'll never ever get bored of you, dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. <sighs> oh my god. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I'm so glad to have them back. He's talking about, he's talking about Izzy. He's talking about his relationship with Izzy. He's not talking about the things that have physically prepared for him. I'm just, I'm just saying. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. Oh, a second chance to make yeah. something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. What? what, what what's the last thing that she needs to fix? Okay, this seems like the final chapter. <gasps> no! No! Not the suitcase! My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. Aww. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. Oh, you Afterwards, stole it! I was it. too ashamed to call them. To apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. So she's been... You haven't talked to them for a year because you stole a suitcase? I don't, I don't I know. Talked, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. All right, we're packing now. Let's see what you got this time. Oh, look, it's Carmen's recipe. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. Oh my God, a history of watches. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. We got the tape. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Valeriva behind. Oh, this is cute. It used to be just her overalls. Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Okay, Helena. Okay. Thank you. <gasps> That's cool. Izzy must have given Izzy me that. Izzy gave me this yeah. in exchange for my repair manual. Yep. She'll be a pro in no time. And then a picture of myself because, you know. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. 
My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as mm. I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. I think you did. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. Are you going to give him a call? Are you going to call him? I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. Mm. I just didn't know if... Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. <gasps> okay. Okay. Call, 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 call. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? Aww, so that's how it ends? But okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I wish that they would have explained more why that was so... Like, I wish, I wish they would have explained more why there was such a rift between Maria's parents and Maria. Because it just seems to me from the story that, you know, she just hasn't talked to them for a year because she stole a suitcase and ran off to travel the world. But it doesn't explain like a whole year of not talking to each other. You're telling me that the, the, the parents never gave you a call? Or that you never call them back? Like, it just, that that's the only part. Everything else, super cute. Okay. Let's try the epilogue. Ah, uh, looks like we're gonna be messing with a an espresso machine. Okay, Carmen's letter. Dear Maria, Carmen here. Sorry, I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Yay! Good. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. Aww. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. Mm. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. Yeah, you got this. A bit this. of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Okay. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. Do you know how expensive espresso machines are? She's doing well. She's doing well. All right, I feel like this one's gonna be the <laughs> the hardest one. Oh, okay, let's start with uh, the unscrewing. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. Oh, so we're playing as Carmen. Yeah, duh, hello. Ooh. Hel These pipes look pretty simple. Hello, okay. Let's start with them. Okay. Cool. Oh, I wish Maria was here. She'd know how to put these pipes together. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm, no, that doesn't go there. I feel like that. There we go. No! No! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Why is there so much steam? That can't be right. Uh, where did we screw up? Where did we... Oh, those are... Those are... Are backwards, I think. I think... There you go. There you go. Those are backwards. There you go. Finally. Nice! No nice. Okay. Okay. And it looks like... Where does this motherboard go? 
Oh, more screws. More screws. Okay. I don't want to put everything back just yet because I still I feel like we gotta yeah we gotta do this motherboard. But where did the, where does the motherboard go? Oh, I literally I just put it on. Okay, put it in the back. This looks tricky. Okay, we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Cause I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, what did we do? We did one to the bolt, one to the bolt. So let's do one to the bolt. Nice. Two with the sh -sh -sh -sh. So let's do that. Two with the sh -sh -sh. Perfect. And I'm assuming the last one has to go here. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, uh, this one looks a little bit trickier. Um, so the bolts to the bolts. Perfect. The sh -sh -sh to the sh -sh -sh. Nice. And then... Oh my god! We're so good! I think that's it! I- I think we're good! I think we're good! I think we can put everything back! Okay, let's do that. That wasn't too bad! Uh, nope. Put that back here. And then... Let's... Put that, and then put all of our screws back. Okay. One more. There we go! I think that's everything. Better test the buttons, just to make sure. Okay, okay, okay. Do we have a cup? Do we get a... Nice. Amazing. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Are we gonna make it? Can we? Oh, nice! Yay! All right. So we're gonna get the cup over here, and then we're gonna take the porta filter, put it in the group head. Perfect. Put the cup underneath. You gotta put it. Do it right away. We don't want to burn the coffee. Amazing. All right, and now mm, smells delicious. Not nice. now to make it look magical. Amazing. Oh, are we gonna get to do it with the milk? Girl, did you even steam that? I didn't even see you steam it. Okay, we gotta hurry, hurry this up. Okay, I'm gonna fill it in. Okay, and then we're gonna start off here and then move our way in. Mmm, a perfect coffee. That looks All like- All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favorite biscuits. That's doo-doo. Uh, we're gonna try this again. I wanna- I wanna make something better though. I wanna make something better. Okay. Ugh. Okay, maybe we just go with a simple swirl. That looks even more like doo-doo. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. There you go. Little Biscoff cookies. I like that. That's it. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. I will say so myself. I was feeling more has-been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hoped she'd think it was intentional. I love that, yay. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Mm. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? Good point. When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. A horse, right. Well, okay. what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, right, 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 right. We'll, 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 go, we'll, we'll go with it. Appreciate it. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. 
I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realised how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realise how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Aww. Better latte than never. Better latte <laughs> than never. Oh my Hoping god, she's well. so cute. Your friend, Carmen. Oh, look at them. Helena's so hot. I'm so, like, look at her. Wow. That's it. Oh my god. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And if you like that, think about you could think you're not subscribed. You could think about it. Just think about it. 